2017 Ford Kuga 2.0 C180 ST Line Power Shift Odd Review. From 21,170 pounds. 8. Point. A UK drive of the new Ford Kuga proves the latest updates and a new ST Line trim broaden its appeal, but don't quash the challenge of newer rivals. What is it? It's the facelift Ford Kuga, which we've already driven abroad in 1.5 EcoBoost petrol guys. This, however, is our first UK drive and our test car is fitted with something more relevant to the average British punter, a diesel engine. To be precise, it's the top spec 2.0 litre diesel with 178 bhp. It comes only with four-wheel drive, but for those that value a degree of autonomy you still have a choice of either a six-speed manual gearbox or a six-speed dual-clutch automatic. The whole setup is on the money in terms of efficiency, 134 g slash km of CO2 emissions and a claimed fuel economy of 54.3 mpgr, give or take, what you'd see from a four-wheel drive, automatic seat Ateca 2.0 TDI 190. However, Keep checking the performance figures and you'll discover that the dash from 0 to 62 miles per hour in the Ford is 10.0 SEC, while in the seat it's 7.5 SEC. On paper at least, the Kyoga is outpaced then. Our test car is the new sporty ST line trim. This has lowered sports suspension and loses any exterior chrome, swapping it for black on the grille, window surrounds and roof rails. You also get 18i and dark machine finished alloys. Inside, sports seats, steering wheel, gear knob and the aluminium pedals complete the spiced up look. There are other general updates to all 2017 Kugas. These include a front and rear cosmetic refresh, with the trapezoidal grille also seen on the Ford Edge, and new head and tail lights. You also get Ford's updated SYNC3 infotainment system, an electronic parking brake and gesture control for the power opening tailgate. There's more safety kit available, too, with enhanced optional automatic emergency city braking that works at speeds up to 31 miles per hour and, for the first time, rear cross traffic alert. What's it like? A few years ago, if you wanted an SUV with tidy handling but hadn't the budget for a Porsche Macan, then the Kyuga, along with the Skoda Yeti, were your main considerations. But not anymore, 2016 hatched yet more subs, and the Seed Attack approved it is the sportiest of the lot at this money. The Kyuga still has it, though. Grip that snazzy ST line steering wheel and give it a turn, and the Kyuga darts towards an apex. That's down to the well geared rack with 2.6 turns lock to lock, and some decent steering weight. So while Ford's chronic condition of too much self-centering is present, it's not an acute affliction in the Kyuga, so you have the means to choose a clipping point, take aim, and mostly hit the spot. Better body control helps the cause, too. With the SD line stiffer suspension, coupled with the fact that all four-wheel drive Kyugas come with a 9mm drop in ride height, the consequence is less body lean and neater control through curves, even one strewn with troublesome bumps. That said, we have little doubt that in a back-to-back -back run an Ateca would grip harder and turn with even more alacrity. Yet the Kyuga, even with these tighter springs and dampers, arguably rides better than an Ateca, which we know has an underlying firmness. But while the ST line is mostly cosseting, at times you do notice more harshness than you'd feel in a standard Kyuga. The 2.0-liter C engine and gearbox unite to produce an admirably smooth powertrain. On startup there's some background diesel clatter, but once the engines warm that mostly quietens down, and the dual-clutch box flits without fuss between its ratios. In isolation it doesn't feel slow, but the Kyuga isn't isolated. For less than 35,000 pounds there are a host of automatic, four-wheel drive SUV rivals that'll whisk you up to 70 miles per hour or past a dawdling truck much quicker. Many offer smarter cabins, as well. There's been some tidying, sure, so now you get fewer buttons on the dashboard and more center console storage space thanks to the ditching of the handbrake lever, but this doesn't hide what's still an old design, 
or mask the use of some decidedly low-rent materials. Compare it with the interior of a new Peugeot 3008, for example, and it feels a generation apart in its design and execution. And although Ford's SYNC 38.0 in touchscreen now has larger icons that are easier to press, and it's laden with additional features such as pinch-to-zoom maps, improved voice activation and Apple CarPlay, we still rank it behind the systems you get in an Ateca, Skoda Kodiak, or Kia Sportage, all of which you can pick up for similar money. Should I buy one? While the Ateca may have nabbed the crown of sportiest sub-pound 35,000 SUV, this Kyuga ST line still runs it closer than many other rivals for driving kicks. For us car enthusiasts, this alone is justification for sticking it on your shopping list. Just be aware, though, that for similar money there are cars out there that offer more pace, space, and smarter interiors with more user-friendly infotainment packages. 2017 Ford Kyuga 2.0 to C180 ST Line Power Shift Odd Location Hertfordshire On Sale Now Price £31,795 Engine 4 sills, 1,997 cubic centimeters, diesel. Power. 178 bhp at 3500 rpm. Torque. 295 ib feet at 2000 2500 rpm. Gearbox. 6 SPD dual clutch automatic. Curb weight. 1,716 kilograms. Top speed. 124 miles per hour 0 to 62 miles per hour 10.0 SEC Economy 54.3 MPG Combined CO2 slash tax band 134 G slash KM slash 25% Rivals Seat Ateca 2.0 TDI 194 DRIVE DSG VW Tiguan 2.0 TDI 194 Motion DSG